Hey, my name is Diana. Welcome to Daily Devo. Today we are talking about friendship. Hey, we are in Proverbs 27 today, and it has a lot to say about friendships and good friendships and people that add value to your life. Let's just jump right in. So Proverbs chapter 27, listen to verse five. Verse five says, better is open rebuke than hidden love. Verse six says that wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an enemy multiplies kisses. Verse nine says, perfume and incense bring joy to the heart and the pleasantness of one's friend springs from their earnest counsel. And then verse 17 says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Man, good friends are great, aren't they? We often have friends that come into our life for a season, some for longer seasons, some for shorter. But the truth of the matter is good friends are just good for our heart. They're fun when we spend time with them. We walk away a little bit lighter, a little bit sharper. And today's Proverbs is talking about that. Today's Proverbs is reminding us that good friends give good counsel. Um, here's what a good friend is not according to Proverbs. A good friend is not somebody who we just have fun with. A good friend is not somebody who is just around or responds to our texts or our Snapchats or whatever um, and is always there. A good friend isn't even somebody who just encourages us. A good friend is somebody who will tell us the hard to hear things in love because it's for our good. Uh, many of you know what that's like. It's kind of like your friend who will actually tell you if you have like food stuck in your teeth. Uh, they kind of quietly pull you aside and say, hey, you got something in your teeth or hey, you got something uh, that fell on your chin. That's what a good friend is that Proverbs 27 is talking about. Um, so here's, here's what I want you to do. Today, I just want to encourage you to reach out to your good friends. Send them a text message right now. Um, figure out how to say, hey, let's figure out when to spend some time together, when to go on a walk, when to get the kids together, when to go on a coffee date. Uh, because good friends are good for our heart and they sharpen us and they give us wise counsel. So who can you reach out today to just say thank you to and to spend time with? Um, it's worth it to keep investing in those relationships. And maybe, maybe some of you listening, your heart is heavy right now and you're thinking, the truth be told, I don't actually have good friends in this season. I have people, but not the kind of life-giving friends this Proverbs is talking about. For you, I just want to encourage you, you're not alone. There's nothing wrong with you. Um, I want you to pray and talk to God about it. Tell him what your heart desires. Tell him what you're longing for. And then I want you to think about who are the people that are already in your life right now? Who might you be willing to invest in and see if that can turn into and build into a good friendship. And, and maybe the, the best next step for you is to go to one of your Jesus-believing local churches and actually get plugged in, join a serving team, join a group and say, God, I need friends who will tell me the hard to hear things in love, not in judgment, not in competition, not in jealousy, not just people to have fun with, but people who will give me wise counsel. Hey, God is for you today, not against you. Have a great day. And let's remember Proverbs 27, that a good friend is like iron that sharpens iron. See you next time.